Hello everyone and welcome to Rika by Ember Storm Entertainment. I say it all slow because I did on accident. But anyway, but this is a pre-alpha demo, so some of the stuff that you're gonna see here is likely to be you know very early in development, so there might be some bugs and stuff like that. Um and uh, I will point out that I've actually kind of played through a good portion of this. This is not as uh, first impression-y as I had intended, but I ran into like some couple of snags and I couldn't figure stuff out and uh, decided to restart after I got some additional assistance. Uh, so here we go. Uh, running into this little quaint village. It looks really nice. Uh, hello, Mr. Villager. Oh, a young traveler. How lovely. Feel free to look around. I'm sure you will find work to do here. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't want to work. I want to. Um, I just want to like pick up berries and eat said berries. What's this lady? My dearest friend hasn't come back home for quite some time now. Perhaps he finally fulfilled his dream of traveling the world. I do hope he's okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I hope so too. It sounds like he's super important to you. Tread carefully, young traveler. These woods are home to the witch. Those that enter rarely leave, should they encounter the ogress, for she is the bony-legged, the iron-toothed, the mother of snakes and witches, she that travels between worlds. Of course she has a name, but I don't dare invoke it. You're, you're going in anyway. Madness. Stay away from her hut, then. May her path guide you safely. And then we marked the, the, the hut conveniently on my map. Ah, thank you, traveler. All right. Uh, come on, little goat. I know where you go just because I've done this before, but um, I think you would find out pretty organically by coming in here and seeing these people and saying, oh, look, it's goats. All right, lady, I brought you the goat. Oh, you found it. Thank you so much. Here, this is for you. Take it as a sign of my gratitude. And it's a picture of a goat. What about this lady? These ghastly birds in front of the boathouse have been crowing all night again. Why does anybody do something about them? Well, because they're birds and they're, you know, they're mini dinosaurs. They'll just eat you if you give them a chance. I don't think that you want to do that, lady. Well, on our way to the hut, we will take a look at the cool little environment and see what's up. It's a really quaint village, and the music is really soothing and relaxing. Uh, and I, I think this part's like pretty well done. It looks like a nice little village, a nice little road leading up to it. Oh, a large blue bench. All right, we already got our first bit of furniture for our future house. Uh, once we can get that built up. I think I got something here yet. Yeah. Uh, I got another chest. I got two chests. The Dark Knight Stand. A lying yellow book, a standing brown book, a standing yellow book. <laughs> okay. I don't know, just give us books and have us rotate them. That sounds like a good idea. But, uh... Old woman, <laughs> what's this I smell? Someone dares approach my door? A child? Hmm. Today, child, you find yourself at wonderful life's crossroads. Do not pass through my gate lightly, for doing so may change your pathetic life forever. Well, I'm going to go in the gate anyway, because it sounds like a cool idea. So be it. With only a few steps, your story has been written. How does it begin again? Oh yes, I recall. It begins with a little kitten stumbling into my garden. Tell me, what brings you here to my door? Are you lost? Is it cruel fate? Were you sent? Talk, child. Very bold to come here alone. You look weary, but there is always work to be done. You are here, so you shall work. I'm hungry, and my shelves are lacking. Fetch me ingredients to make my unsavory hot water into a tasty soup. My book on the bench will tell you what I need. Go on, get to it! And you, my birds, see that this little kitten collects the right ingredients and doesn't run away from us. Not that she could. 
<laughs> and I realize I probably lost like a whole bunch of just, but you know what? I'm having a good time, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, go into the journal, go into the log, and the log tells us what we need to do: mushrooms and honeycombs to make the most disgusting soup I've ever heard of. Um, all right, what does honey look like? Honeycomb! Hooray! I don't know what to craft with this yet. Cool. We're good. All right. Oh, and one more thing. A challenge, perhaps. Certainly more challenging than finding me some simple mushrooms. The loot key have stolen my magical talisman. Again. Never mind what a loot key are. <sighs> they are spirits. Very excitable spirits. Especially when you have a pocket full of berries. You'll find those wretched blocks of wood deeper in the forest. Find them, retrieve what they stole. Once you have the talisman, you can use its power to come back here swiftly. But if you return without it, little kitten, I will have something a lot meatier than soup for dinner tonight. Ha ha ha! Now get going. Alright. So, talisman. Alright. And then we got our little birdies. Oh, it's hold left. My birds come here and, um, well, I use them to gather stuff for me so I don't have to use my hands. Ah, oh, Rick is truly living in the future. I don't know how much honey we need. I know we need six uh, things of honey, but um, I feel like at some point having more honey is going to be nice. Like, what if there's a bear in the forest? Like, I can throw the honey at the bear, perhaps. Uh, that might work. We do now have a pocket full of berries, so we just have to find our little loot key and make best friends forever with them. I think these animations of the birds, like, diving down and actually picking up the stuff is pretty cool. Hello, little dude. Have a berry... And a berry for you, and a berry for you. I feel like Oprah Winfrey. Berries for everyone! Oh. Let's help this guy up. Oh, and we got the talisman. And away we go back to the hut. I'm in the house! Come in, come in. What are you waiting for? Well, I mean... Not really anything. I mean, I'm coming in. All right. Interact with the old lady. I've been thinking, little kitten. You showing up here today, this may be more significant than I first thought. Tell me, what is your name, child? Rekka? Hmm, yeah, I see. Yes, Rekka, of course it is. Well, did you get all the ingredients? Good. We'll need them, but not for the soup. Ugh, you lied to me, lady. You told me to go get soup stuff, and then you're gonna make some kind of weird mushroom honey stew. We're doing a ritual, and you are helping me. Let's see how you do. The ritual calls for items. We could use the mushrooms and honey you collected for the soup. We will also need a sturdy length of pine. You don't have one. You common folk really have no idea what's important in life. So many uses for a nice pine branch. In front of my hut, there's a small island. On it stands a giant crooked pine. Snap off a branch and return to me. Oh, and on your return, acquaint yourselves with the chickens. The chickens are important. They are important because I say they're important. Get the pine branch, select a nice chicken, and bring them both to me. I'll wait for you behind the hut. I'll start the preparation. Finally, it's time. Q. Alright, so tree branch is directly outside. There's a big tree right there. I see some glowies, so that means this is the pine branch. Away we go. All right, pretty, pretty easy there. I mean, all right, chickens. Which one of you wants to go? I feel like you're going to be sacrificed. It's going to be your death. But which one do you want to do? Any? Oh, you walk towards me, so it's you. Let's go, little chicken buddy. I was just seeing if I could, like, pick stuff up while I was, like, carrying the chicken, but it doesn't look like I can. There you are, finally! This is the place where we fell all those years ago. My friend did not get back up. 
Oh. I settled here and waited. And maybe I waited for you. Take that chicken over to the old oven. Oh, don't be so concerned. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll make itself at home in that nest. Besides, if this actually works, maybe you'll become best friends. Or maybe you'll become friends here, where I lost mine. Alright. Sorry, chicken. I'm pretty sure we're sacrificing you. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I've done it. Do you have the branch I told you to find? I sure do. Good. While I start the sigil, I need you to cleanse the area. Hold your branch to the candle's flame until it ignites, then spread its powerful incense. Okay. That's it. Good. Follow me to the next one. All right, let's let's go. I think these are like bones. Like this was a skeleton. It's like her her house is was used to be like half alive. Oh wait. Yes, yes. Very good. Quickly on to the next. I will. But there's a chest over here, and that has got my attention. A blue bench. Can I open the barrel? That'd be pretty cool. I uh, can't open the barrel. Okay, I lost you, lady. There you are. You kind of blend into the background with your color scheme. You should get like a like a white jacket or something. Maybe a red one. I, I don't know. The final one. She's really eager about all of this. I feel like I'm just doing a good thing, helping an old lady. She seems really nice. Well, it seems like you aren't quite as useless as you appear, but this is no time for chit-chat. In my hut, by the front door, there is a shrine to my ancestors. One of them saw fit to leave me an egg. We need it. It's not like a chicken egg. A chicken's egg at all, silly kitten. Not a normal chicken. You will know how foolishly you speak when you see it. It has sat dormant for many years, but hopefully it can still provide us what we need. Bring it to me. Oh, and pick up some grain from my garden on your way. We'll need that later. Okay. Pick up some grain... From the garden. Where is the grain? Where is the grain? Alright, so far I can't pick any of this stuff up, and this is like what I would assume to be grain. Uh, it does not appear to be the grain that I need. Okay. Oh, it's all this stuff over here, I think. Yeah, I it just... It's like a weird color scheme, I think. I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, it definitely looks like green. I think, like, the best way to do that to kind of make it so we know what we're supposed to pick up would be to uh, put the picture of that in the inventory. Because I've been thinking this stuff is green, but apparently it's not. Alright, let's get the egg. Alright, got the egg. And away we go on our journey back to the lady to give her the egg and the grain. I think she's going to be really happy with what I've done. That's it. Good. Isn't it a wonder? Now put it in the, put it in the oven. <laughs> I'm, chicken, I'm pretty sure you're getting sacrificed. I'm... I feel pretty bad about this. All right, so it's time. Uh, it's time for us to make the offerings. We will honor many gods in this ritual. There's no time to talk about that now. Maybe later if you prove yourself. For now, we must honor the goddess of fertility. I have placed bowls on all four sides of the ruin. Uh, I'll start with this one. You hurry in the bowl. You hurry to the bowl in the back. When you reach it, you must wait until I am ready before placing the offering. We must do it at the same time. So listen for my word. All right, hold on. Let me get back there. Is this it? Is this the one? It's not the one. Okay, it's this one. 
She doesn't seem to be saying anything, so I'm just going to put it down. Very good. Now we shall both walk clockwise around the house to the next bowl. Again, wait for me. Then tell, when I tell you place the grain in the bowl, I'm ready to make the offering. Place it now. Well, pfft. All right, I was getting there. You could have been a little patient. Aha! Yes! It's working. Wait, it's working? The kitten is capable. Hmm, come to me. We are not finished. Quickly now. All right, lady. I don't know where this is going. I feel like this might be kind of a trap. Take this. Be very careful with it. It's a charm. Blessed by the god of fire. A powerful, dangerous object in the wrong hands. Hush now. Stop looking at your hands. Using this charm, I need you to dissolve the bones surrounding the site. Each and every last one. We need to harness their essence. Go, I need to focus on the next step. Do not disappoint me. Oh, and be respectful. That's my friend you're dissolving. Alright. Yes, keep going. It, it actually just feels like all I have to do is kind of walk up to it and it dissolves. The whole thing. So... That's kind of pretty cool, actually. It's I, I like I like that, and all this weird dust particle stuff looks really, really cool. All right, there's not much bones left. I think we're almost there. We almost got this. That's all of them. Come back to me. All right, I'm coming. Give me a second. That, that I have to say looks really cool. Like, that's super cool. I just want to kind of look at it right now for a little bit. Really take that in and admire the beauty of this weird bone tornado. Give me back that charm. You are far too inexperienced to hold such power longer than necessary. Well, why'd you have me do it to begin with? You actually did it. Use the power of Sphairog. <laughs> Don't grow too big for your boots. There's still one final ingredient. Go back to my house and bring me embers from the oven. The ritual requires you carry them red hot in your bare hands. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. Carrying embers should not prove a problem since you could wield my charm. Now get to it, quickly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting third degree burn sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to do for this, um... This ritual. I'm really kind of losing my faith in this lady. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know that she's like, she might be a bad person with how ridiculous she's making me do some stuff. All right, you continue to surprise me, little one. I can scarcely believe you are doing this. Give the embers to me. I will, because I'm the best. Oh, whoopsies. I dropped them. The living embers. These very embers have burned bright for generations. Fire passed from home to home. Their age dwarfs even mine. The living embers gave life to my friend long ago, and new life they shall give today. To let this last part, I must do alone. You did well, little kitten. Surprisingly well, in fact. But for now, watch a real witch at work. Ha! I am the greatest among witches. The world shall know the Baba Yaga once again, or is it the Baba Jaga? 
Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga. Are they two different things, perhaps? I, I don't know. Oh, that was exhausting. It's been far too long. Oh, swamps. Hey, are you are you still there? Can you hear me? I can't. I can't control it. Tell it to sit down. Uh, let's let's go backwards and get a good look at this pretty cool looking thing. I don't, it kind of looks weird, man. It's it's got no it's it's got no head. It's just okay, whatever. All right, Hut of Brown, now sit down. You did well, little kitten. So well, in fact, I decided to take you as my apprentice. No, I don't like it either, but I cannot ignore the signs. You were born to become a witch. I've seen what you can do. Not everyone can do what you did. It's who you are. Destiny, fate, call it what you will. But you cannot escape it. Nobody can. Look around you. Look at what you've created. This this will be your house. You will build it yourself. Furnish it. Decorate it. Make it just how you imagine. Cozy or creepy. Grand toy. Grandi grandiose. 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 Or a labyrinthin, labyrinthin. You will live in it and travel the lands with it. Oh, and I will tag along and eat all your food, of course. I will also take the biggest room here for myself and return for teaching you such wonders. Sound exciting? Well, here's some wood. Get building. 132 wood. Wow. Well, that's quite a bit. And here's the part of the game that I think a lot of people are probably actually here to watch, uh, to see how the building works. Alright, so I can move things around. Uh, memories, kinging, decoration, books, friends, house. That's what we need. Alright, well, I want a door. I feel like that might be a floor, perhaps? It is a floor. Alright, well, let's get some floorboards in here. It's... And then a door. and drag the left mouse button to rotate. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really need to rotate. We get a door. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, select a roof piece. I'm still working on repairing the this the wall here. Don't rush me. Yeah, building is actually pretty simplistic. Uh, everything pretty much snaps really easily, so that's really nice. I mean, eventually, I want like a two-story house. I don't. It's, I feel like I've got plenty of wood, so I'm not, like, too worried about building this kind of wall stuff that I'm doing. Uh... She said she was going to take the biggest room, but there's not really any room for her. I haven't added anything for her. Like, you walk in and it's the kitchen. This is this is not going to be like the ideal structure, but uh, I think it's okay for now. Okay, so this is a roof. Why does it look like? Oh wait, no, 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 no. These are stairs. All right. going to do this and add a floor right here. 
No, I put a second floor down. Uh, there we go. Well, that's pretty easy, though. I mean, it's not bad. I feel like I probably should not put the oven uh, with no, like, kind of upper spot. I feel like that might be a bad idea. Uh, like something around it. But, um... We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll go like this way. Uh, this needs to be at least too high to make it look nice. And I still have plenty of wood. So I'm going to build a little bit of a roof here. Um, got our roof here and I can you know I don't have to like make it all the way up but this would be a really high roof which I think might be kind of like kind of weird however the wall snap the roof to it then all the all right so I feel like they want me to rotate it I feel like that's something I have to do over above a wall to map to roof it Okay. Good. Go ahead and place my chair now. This old witch needs somewhere to rest. Uh, make sure you aren't misbehaving. Okay. We'll put your chair somewhere. I want to put your chair outside. Yeah, because you're kind of mean to me, lady. What did I just place? Uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Uh, let's see. Books, decoration, hanging, carpets, memories. There we go. One chair. Yeah, you can sit outside. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like... <laughs> You're gonna sit outside. You're not welcome in my hut. All right, very good. Go and explore. Get familiar with these mysterious lands. There are many things to find in this forest. The long abandoned carts often hold a surprise or two. I'm sure you'll be able to find some new furniture for your house. Also, I've added some more things to do and places to visit to your journal. When you're ready to leave, come and talk to me one final time. Alright, so I'm supposed to build more of the things of the house, but I'm also supposed to furnish it with some other stuff. I feel like I've already been to the, that location. Uh, help some villagers. Let's go help villagers. Oh, that house like got up and I was not expecting it. I was like, what is happening there? Did I already open this chest? No. Rustic table. I think I already opened everything in this chest. I think this is like one of the first places I saw. Nope. Maybe not. A skull. That seems like it is some weird, weird things. Uh. All right. Find a cat in the southeast. Oh, that's what I want to find. Let me find the kitty cat. Ah, oh, man. These silly fences. So my thoughts so far after just about, like, 30 minutes of play is, um... You know, the game looks nice. I think, you know, I do have it set to ultra settings, but it doesn't really feel like ultra settings. It feels like it's probably, like, maybe medium. Uh, but, um, 
it's a you know pre-alpha demo, so I mean I, I'm not really expecting a lot of crazy things there. Uh, so it looks it looks nice. I mean, like the water looks nice until you get in it, and then there's nothing that happens with it. But it does look you know pretty pretty decent uh, in your first kind of glance at it. The quest markers so far have been pretty decent. The building is pretty simple to do. Um, I didn't really check to see how much I could, ex if I or if I could, extend like the floor of the the hut so I can kind of make it a little bit better of a environment. Because right now it's kind of small. It's gonna go upstairs, but it's still not like the biggest place. I'm actually surprised that they say find a cat in the southeast. Uh, but she didn't actually mark it on my map. Or my compass. And I don't know that... Uh, I don't know that there is a map. There is not that I can see with any of the buttons I've pressed. Well, I don't know where the cat is. They said southwest. I went to the southwest. As far southwest as I could go. And it was a dead end, so... I don't know. But there's a house over here. Maybe that has the cats. Got a rustic table. Okay, well, I, I will. I will go to the how or the the village, I guess, because the village I know I had a couple of things to do. Um, I've already helped one villager. I'm supposed to help a second villager. I think that villager that I'm supposed to help is Yulia, who is uh, confused about where her friend might be. So she didn't tell me where, so I don't really think she really wants to find her friend. She's like, oh, I haven't seen my friend in a while. They they went somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where. Oh, I'm going back to Bobby Yaga's house. All right, hold on. Let's see. What is this? Can I figure out how to do stuff? I don't need to weigh anything. All right. Uh... So how do I figure out recipes? Grain. Why is it showing wood? Okay, well. I think that's just a little bit of a bug. Right, that is obviously not the answer. The page is filled with complex diagrams and incantations. It is hard to read, but one part of it can be deciphered. But only if the bears are aligned, the two offerings to Siva grain for what currently is and bread for what may become of it. Placed at the same time on opposite sides of the egg, they will complete the second crest, forming a Pavnaraza. The union between sun and moon, male and female, energy, making life, new life possible. If the soul is ready and the egg is ready, all I need is raw ancestral power to the rest of the page is illegible. Well, that's the thing that we did. Okay. Well, where is the city or the village? The village is over here. I really want to find a kitty cat. I'm not sure how to f discover the recipes. Uh, I wonder if it's like back at the house if I need to do something with the oven, perhaps. Okay, let's see, who do we have here? Do we have anybody here I can talk to? Hello, people in the house. Oh, well, we found a lady. I'd like to offer you something for your food. Well, absolutely. I really need a small, sweet meal. Okay, uh... Click on any food in your inventory to place it. Click on place food to reclaim it. 
I feel like maybe because I haven't actually learned to cook anything, like it doesn't perhaps count. Because I can't make anything with it. Uh, we got some villagers on the other side. I've talked to her. This is the one that's like missing a friend, I believe. Far part to the south. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Yeah, I would offer some food, but... If, you know, wait, maybe I can offer them the berries? I cannot. So I'm definitely going to have to cook something. I'm just going to have to figure out how to do the cooking. And how to find the ingredients. Alright, well, that's the thing to do, I guess. Part of me wants to take the goat with me and just be like, the goat is now mine, and I'm taking it on an adventure. Alright, so... Oh, look, we got a marking for the guy now. Okay. Path to the south. This dude's gonna be dead. Watch it. We know it's not that guy, because I've already... You know, I've already talked to that guy. And I feel like this is not it either. I feel like this is going to be like a dead end. Jar with the plants. They said path to the south. I know it's like branching off, but I feel like maybe it would make sense to stay on the path, but it does not make sense to stay on the path. And that is the Babiaga's house. Well, where are you, guy? Well, I, I, I don't know. I've been looking for this dude. I don't know where he is. I don't have a dog that like, can sniff him out. I also can't find the kitty cat. And that's like... That's kind of bothering me. I want to find the kitty cat. I guess I'll just go and like finish building the house. Maybe, uh... Well, maybe I can tell her I found the cart that's empty, and maybe that will be enough. Um, if not, then I guess I'll, uh... Go and try to find, like, the cat again? Okay, well, there's a lady I can help. I can always help the pumpkin lady. Yeah, like, he's likes to wander around nature... He probably took the far, pow, far path out south. I went south, and I didn't see anybody. So, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I don't know where he would be. Oh, I'm so tired of all the hard work. Can you help me a bit? It would be so lovely if you could carry some of my pumpkins into the barn. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Easy enough. Yeah, look at this. Look at me helping the villagers. Oh, man, I am saving this village from all of its difficult times by carrying pumpkins. Dang, how many pumpkins am I doing, though? Okay, thank you so much for your help. Here's this for you. It's one of my best... Oh, still so many pumpkins. Yeah, there are a lot of pumpkins, and I didn't want to get them all for you. Alright, so I have helped another villager. I'll do one last sweep of, like, the south, I guess, to see if I can't find it. And then if I can't find it, I'm just going to go to the house, uh, the hut, and I'm going to see if I can't go ahead and finish building 
uh, the house a bit. I'm going to check on the floor, basically. I want to see if I can extend it. I want to make a bigger, a bigger walking chicken house. Alright, so I took the path south. We have this wagon, and the wagon has been... You know, it's kind of falling apart. There's nothing in there that I could use. We hit, like, a dead end, and there's nothing else to, like, look at, so... I don't really know. Like, I checked this area, and I didn't see anything. I, I kind of wonder if her friend is, like like a deer or something and she's actually like a crazy lady or something I sure don't know where the cat's at southwest southeast find a cat in the southeast the game needs a bit of a map To like be able to look kind of around a little bit, or like kind of mark it just so you know where you uh, where you were. I know there's not a cat here at this house. Cause I was just there. And I don't think there was a cat over here, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Where would I be if I was a cat? See, part of me thought, like, maybe this this house is, like, destroyed, but, uh... Yeah, there's no kitty cat here, either. Oh, you just walk right in. Would have been a great place to hide a cat, I suppose. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's no cat here. There's, there's not a cat, and I'm not sure where the cat is. Let's see if we can get up to the top, though. Oh, it fell. Alright, well, you know what? I might be able to climb up to the top here. Maybe, perhaps. Her platforming capabilities aren't, aren't really that great. Alright. Looks like there might be something over there. So that could be where, like, the cat is. But, uh, part of me also thinks the cat is probably in the house, or like it's in one of those houses or something. I might have to go back to the town. Yeah, because there's no cat out here. We're just... We're just very lost at this point. So it gets all foggy. And I think this is, like, a really good way of setting up, like, a, uh... Like, an invisible wall to prevent the player from going, you know, further than they're supposed to. Um, because most people, I think, aren't going to walk into this almost impenetrable wall of fog because... That would be very creepy, so... I think that's really well done. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, what is this? We found something new. Purely by accident, too. Alright, what we got? Alright, I see some hay. More hay. A chest that I cannot open... A barrel and oh, it's a kitty cat. Oh, hi, kitty cat. Oh, you were just the cutest little thing. It's a little tabby. Oh, no, cat. Oh my god, cat. What are you doing? Come with me, cat. Oh, huh? I want the cat to come home with me. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure if I can do anything. Oh, it's running away. I don't know if I did that right. Was it? I hope there wasn't something I was supposed to do. But that cat is straight up 
the cutest, most adorablest cat in the world. <gasps> the cat wants to come home with you? Yes! I got a cat! Oh, this is the happiest day ever. Where'd it go? Where'd my cat go? <laughs> the cat's the cat's gone. Oh, the cat ran away. Um Alright, so I found the cat. Uh help Julia Julia find her friend. I still don't know where her friend is. I, I cannot find her friend. I went south. I, I followed it as far as you could go. Uh Yeah, I simply do not know. Um, so I'm going to go and just... Explore what's over here. I'm, I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to finish building it and then just talk to the... Talk to the, the witch, Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga, whatever her name is. And, and just say, like, you know what? I'm ready. Let's, let's go to our next adventure. More gold. So, I mean, obviously there's going to be, like, a system in place where we're buying and selling stuff, so that's uh, pretty cool. I do like the idea that we will, in the game, learn to make different foodstuffs and then, you know, basically sell things. Alright, what did, what did we get? A uh, blue book, an armchair, dresser, another dresser. A lot of stuff. But yeah, but this will scratch my itch for becoming a relatively well-known and highly renowned pie maker. Because uh, there's a lot of berries, so I'm just going to make a lot of berry jams or something. Alright, I would like to... Get rid of this. So one thing I've noticed is, ooh, what, did, what did I just do? Uh, but one thing I've noticed is, you have to be in the right kind of building area in order to actually build. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to really be able to build anything. Um, But the range is really nice. Oh, I forgot that I was going to check out the floor area. Uh, yeah, it looks like I can actually extend this out a bit, so... Oh, you can actually extend it out quite far. Which is pretty cool. It's nice to know that I, I have such a... such a range. build her a porch because I feel kind of bad that I just like made her sit out there because I mean it just like I didn't want her staring at me the whole time she was just being kind of weird about it but um, the more I think about it the more I'm like you know what that was that was kind of a bad choice I should not have done that it should be a little nicer I also don't really know what I was trying to build here but um The idea, I think, I just want to build something that I can kind of showcase the items I've found so far. A window? So the window has to go on the wall. That's interesting. I'll put that down in a second. Uh, we completed the task for building the wall. Uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, the whole push the button to kind of rotate the walls, that works really, really well. Like it's, my first impression was it was kind of like finicky and a little bit on the weird side, but it actually works really, really well. Um, 
and a window. Oh, we can open it and look outside. That's so cool. All right. It's a nice little spot for my cat, but you know what? I want to kind of make something first. Uh, so that's like a feeding trough. Oh, this is this is nice. I'm going to put one of these up here. I can put some stuff on it. Oh, you're limited on how many of these you have. Just because you found one doesn't mean you have all you need. We'll put our goat picture right here. I don't have any, like, really nice furniture that would make sense for my cat. Because I kind of want to give it, like, somewhere to sit and, and have a good time, but, uh... I guess we'll just have to kind of settle for for what we're going to get here. I like that one. I also like this blue one, but I just I don't want to put too much out here. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. But uh all right, kitty cat, you're the best friend. You're going to go here. Uh, and you can... I can't pet the cat, but I can, like, have it walk around, which is pretty cool. All right, I think this is how we learn to cook. All right, so click items in your inventory to add them to the crafting board. If you add the right combination of items, something will start to craft. Honey and mushrooms and berries everything requires three items pine branch all right so we'll do grain and honey and honey your bread oven needs fuel to work go to the back of your oven and add some wood all right this is a gigantic uh oven. It's pretty cool, though. Alright, that's pretty cool. We got, like, different types of food, or we will have the food. Uh, and there is some time base with it, so I, so far it looks like I know how to make porridge with fruit. Uh... I, f I like that it has the recipes, but I feel like the recipes could probably be Kind of a little bit better. All right, so I'm learned porridge, forage with fruit. What about just just mushrooms? All right, it's pretty cool. And then the food is stored. That's super cool. And it tells me I have one of those. Now, can I eat it though? Uh, no, it's just a good. But that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I could not find her friend, and I honestly, you know, I was I was going with the intent that this was going to be more of like a 45-minute first look, but I just kind of got hooked into to it and doing everything. I think the building system is really cool. Uh, I'm glad that I can extend the size of my hut. Um, it looks awful right now, but that's because I don't know exactly what I want to build for the house. I was more more interested in trying to make a spot for my cat to, to live comfortably. And of course, you know, I do feel bad that the Baba Jacket doesn't actually have a place to stay. So if I was to go through and keep building here, I would probably set something up so that she's got a, a room with a view and and stuff. Because she seems like a sweet old lady just... You know, just obviously a little bit eccentric. Alright. I like that the food comes out here, and it actually looks pretty cool. I don't think I would actually make this meal for real life, because it's like just mushrooms. That sounds terrible, but... Alright. I think it's time to go. Me too, Baba Jaga. I can feel something on the wind. A change. No. A beginning. Something big, something important. I can feel it. 
an adventure. It's out there waiting for us. Shall we find it? Indeed. All right, this ends this, the demo with a small teaser of what's to come. Which I think is acceptable. That looks super cool. Uh, now you'll be able to see like your actual, your hut, and it might look really cool uh, if you make something that's super cool. Uh,